Okay guys, I realize it's been a quick minute since I've done a video similar to this, and I think this is a video where I'm gonna try to kill two birds with one stone. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my updated, revised Minuteman setup, as well as my primary setup for tactical shooting and range outings. So in a lot of my videos, including this one, I'm gonna do some rolling footage. And I thought it would be pretty appropriate to make a dedicated video breaking down what my setup is so that when you see it in these videos, uh, you'll know what kind of, for those gearheads, you'll know what exactly I'm using and what kind of setup it is. And I'm gonna be covering the rifle, be covering the belt and what's on it, and then be covering the plate carrier and what's on it. So because it's on top, let's start off first with the AR-15 that we're talking about. On the bottom here, or for the lower, I have an Aero Precision X-15 lower with a Magpul uh, MOESL grip. Then I have a custom trigger that the name escapes me of the company, but there's a custom three pound trigger. I have a Magpul bad lever here. Of course, I have an AMB safety selector with a short throw. So in case those people wonder, no, the gun isn't broken. It trips up a lot of people, but this is a short throw 45 degree. So just a little bit faster. And then I have a Radiant Raptor charging handle with a Brownells Tynai finished uh, bolt carrier group in there. Then moving to the stock, I have a Magpul uh, STR stock on here. Some people may not like it. I've always loved the STR. Uh, it just feels really good. Gives you a really great cheek weld. Moving up to the upper, I should say, this is a Radical Firearms RF-15 upper. And on top, we got a Vortex Crossfire. Of course, just standard Magpul MBUS flip-up sights. And of course, MBUS up top two. Then I have an AFG by Magpul. And then on the other side, I have a, what is this? An, a tech mech army, uh, mech army SPX 10 flashlight mounted on an offset mount here for, you know, home defense and so that I have some lighting. So that is the basic rifle setup uh, for the gun. As you guys can see, that's what the other side looks like. Um, yeah, so this is the primary rifle I'm running. And almost forgot, of course, on this side, I do have the Magpul MS4 sling uh, attached, of course, to the stock and up here to the rail. So that is the rifle. Okay, so before we get to the plate carrier, we'll take a quick look at the belt and what is on it. So the belt, of course, is a click belt, which is K-I. K-L-I-K, uh, click, and it's a pretty standard uh, Cobra duty belt. This is one of their everyday carry belts that's kind of reinforced to a duty belt because it has this harder, thicker, black, uh, black nylon here to reinforce it. So overall, it's a pretty thin belt, but it is still super sturdy. So that's the belt that supports it. Now for my belt stuff, I like to keep it reasonably free and clear. So all I have is a double mag pouch for the pistol. I have the pistol, which in this case is a CZ P10C. And uh, this is my primary tactical uh, training firearm because it's a great shooting handgun. And of course, it just has a standard Kydex sheath. And then lastly, and I occasionally use it, though I do always wear it, is a Magpul Roly Poly uh, dump pouch. Okay, so now let's talk about the plate carrier. But before we get to the plate carrier, I will say these are my current uh, ear, ear protection. They're pretty standard, pretty basic, just kind of over the ear muffs. They're passive, they aren't particularly new or fashionable, but they work and most importantly, they sit on my head at an angle, as you guys can hopefully see here. So they don't sit straight over the top, they kind of sit behind and I really like that design. So next to that, I have Oakley radar locks. That's what I glasses they work very well so for the plate carrier i use an ar500 armor veritas and i have modded that with a condor uh, this is a double stacker which actually is a six mag mag carrier though i don't usually use the these front three so these are mag carriers too i don't usually use these three but i usually keep them around more for storage or if i'm running a pistol sometimes you guys will see me throw like a pistol like 
I'll just put my pistol in here like this. It's not the most proper or the most safe thing, but oftentimes if I don't have a holster for the handgun or I just want to throw in here real quick, it works just fine for that. And you know, so it kind of becomes a catch-all container. Then of course I have three P mags in here uh, in the back of it, obviously for doing mag changes and mag swaps. I mean, the primary reason I run a plate carrier is for the ease uh, which I can carry rifle mags and you know swap them out. So going more to the back, so behind these magazines, we get into more admin stuff. But before that, I have a uh, Topps Ice Dagger right here, just for self-defense in addition uh, to the handgun and the rifle. But then moving above that, this is the actual admin pouch, so to speak, right around this American flag. And here, I just have a Pilot G2 pen in black. I have a Microtech Ultratech right here, so in case I need to cut anything or open any packages, there's that. And then over here, I have the uh, Leatherman Charge Plus, which is being a booger to get out here, but there's a Leatherman Charge Plus here because multi-tools are super useful at the range. And then another thing that's recently new to this is I carry a Sharpie in here. And the primary reason I carry a Sharpie in here is just because I like to mark my targets. And the Sharpies work really well for just marking up your targets when you hit them. You know, you know where you're hitting and there's no confusion behind it. In addition, I do have a pistol mag pouch over here that can carry three mags. I'm not really sold on it. I don't particularly like it, uh, and I don't particularly use it because uh, through my training I found that reaching up this high to grab a pistol mag was really hard and unnatural for me, so that's why I went over to something belt mounted because when I grab a pistol pouch, it's much easier for me to go to my belt. Hopefully you guys can kind of see in the background. It's much easier for me to go to my belt and grab a pistol pouch uh, than it is to go to the mag carrier, especially when this... Uh, Cumberbund here is sitting higher up on my chest like it normally does. So that's the basics to that. Behind it, I'm not running anything fancy. Just have a little 5th Special Forces patch on the back for the fun of it. Uh, but nothing absolutely crazy uh, on the armor. Of course, this is running level 3 uh, AR-500 plates on the inside with trauma pads for those wondering. Um, so, of course, I like it because it really does help with weight training, and, you know, if you ever need it, it's nice to have. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. That is the basics to my updated Minuteman kit slash what I train with. Um, hopefully you found it interesting, and more, more than anything, I just create this video so that you guys can understand, those who want to understand, can understand, you know, whenever you see me running around on the range, you know, what guns I'm using so you're not asking any questions or is provides a pretty good answer so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and as always god bless and i'm